guys, it's Ashley, and for this video I'll be doing a quick walkthrough tutorial of how I did my Watercolor Paris Skyline Painting. First off, sorry for the fisheye effect on the first clip, the video file wouldn't convert in GoPro Studio and kept crashing, so I couldn't remove this effect, but don't worry, it's only for the first bit and once I start painting, it's back to normal. So to start off, I used a normal HP pencil to map out how I wanted this Paris skyline to look. I used several different references based on pictures of popular tourist attractions and about five different Paris skyline silhouettes and picked the best attractions that I liked and used them, but there was a whole heap that you can use to make it unique. I previously close to two years ago did a London watercolour skyline, which if you wanted to see is on my Instagram account. I really like the watercolour skylines because I think they look really nice with all the different colours and are really easy to do. Like my watercolour world map drawing, I've used my Winsor Newton watercolour paints which I absolutely love, mainly because they're so pigmented and the colours come out so amazing. When using the watercolour paints, I tend to move the brush in a circular motion to blend the colour and if I want the colour lighter I just add more water to the brush and if I want it darker and more pigmented, I use a dry brush with heaps of colour on it. When moving between colours, I place both the colours at a somewhat leading spot and then use a mix of the two colours to blend it together and make a smoother transition. With the past text, I wanted it to be a bit boxy and in all capitals as I think this looks nice like this and I did something similar as well with my London one too. With this painting, I used the Winsor Newton brush that came with the paints and a size 7 round brush, both of which I used with the World of Colour world map as well. I primarily used the Winsor Newton brush to fill in the player's skyline as it is smaller and easier to control, but also blends the colours nicely. And I used the size 7 round brush when doing the bottom of the skyline where it is spread out a bit more and a bit more messier. With this painting, I also gave it two hot air balloons as it fills in the space and I thought it would look good like this. With the Paris text, I did the outer layers in a dark green with a heavily pigmented brush and moved towards the centre with a greenish blue and then transitioned this into a blue with the centre letter. With the watercolour paints, you can be a bit messy. I think it gives a nice effect where it doesn't need to be perfectly in the line. With the bottom, I added the dripping watercolour paint effect by moving the brush lightly downwards and added random spots of varying size to make it a bit more messy and finish off the paint. So that's the finished painting and the end of the tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed and it was helpful. Please be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at AshleyStarZero Zero for all my other artworks and be sure to check out my previous drawing tutorials on my channel. Thanks and I'll see you next time.